this morning. I'm very excited because it was Lauren's birthday recently. I don't know if you saw. Actually, you probably won't have because I literally had to disappear off of the <laughs> internet because I was so busy. But it was Lauren's birthday last week and I surprised her with a trip to Babington House and Bob. And Bob. And we're going to the Christmas markets. Basically, Lauren backstory has not stopped talking <laughs> about Bath and how much she wanted to go to the Christmas markets all year to the point where she even brought it up a couple of weeks ago with me and our friend Brooke and Brooke was sitting there like she knows and Lauren didn't know yet and Brooke was sitting there like no don't want to go no hate Christmas markets no and Lauren was really like I really wouldn't not okay. I was like I'm confused like I was basically trying to bully her into going to Bath like and I'm just there cry me. laughing like she has no <laughs> idea why I'm cry laughing just she thought I was being awkward but I was like this is so fucking funny I just can't I'm gonna give the game away yeah you did it but poor Brooke, really, she really did yeah. feel solid. I really respected yeah, she that. Did. <laughs> she did, and, as, and then as soon as I found out, she was like, that's when I said it, that's when I said it, because I knew you were going, and I was like, okay, <gasps> sorry, sorry for being mean. <laughs> she was, Lauren was literally like, I, but I don't understand, why do you not like Christmas markets? Who doesn't like Christmas markets? She would not take like this no, and I'm just there with because wine I mean, and a roast dinner, like crying. If somebody was actually trying to diss a Christmas market, that would be my argument. Especially Bath. Oh, it's so magical. I haven't been, so I'm really, really excited. And I'm excited just to have a couple of days away with you on a non -pre We've done a lot of press trips lately, yeah. so it's just nice to be on our own trip with our own like schedule, which doesn't involve me getting up stupidly early because I had the worst night's sleep again last night. Really bad. So I've been sleeping really badly lately, and we had like a run of a couple of weeks where it's yeah. been like all right, and I've been really like happy my mood has been good and it's just taken a bit of a turn again this week again annoyingly and the dream i had last night so i don't know if this is because i knew we were traveling but i was driving through london which is a nightmare in itself like let's it's just true. already i'm stressed me driving oh God, right, me driving okay. through london it's a 20 mile an hour speed limit on a road like this except it's a weird like bridge chalky bridge this road this road here guys but imagine the road is chalky and I'm going over it and then suddenly I'm not in the car anymore. I'm crawling, I'm crawling on my hands and knees. I'm crawling over this chalk. And then suddenly we're not on a road anymore. We're in a tunnel and it's like, I'm going underground and this tunnel just starts getting smaller and smaller. And there's people like, all these people are crawling instead of in their cars. I don't, under honestly. So these people, me and all of these people are like crawling through this tunnel and the tunnel was getting smaller and smaller and smaller. And I then like start like panicking because you know what I'm like for yeah. small spaces. Like I'm not, I'm not good. Cause I start like, apparently this tunnel does just keep on going and we all keep on moving. But I'm like, but what if like there is a sudden stop and then we're all just like slowly crushing each other. Yeah. And I, honestly, and then I jolt awake and I've honestly like last night I jolted awake about six times, like really aggressively, not like a light, like you feel like you're falling and you're like, ooh, it was like a aggressive like I've just like been killed in a dream yeah, like did. jolt awake and that was like my alarm was going off and I was just like wow that's really not ideal no it was really horrible like it makes me feel sick thinking about that dream yeah and it's not even, like really scary but it just feels like a nightmare like it really felt like a nightmare so um hopefully we're gonna have massages we're gonna have a really nice sleep tonight just be super super zen do christmas markets tomorrow i'm gonna get a chance to feel festive <gasps> although we, I've, we've already got it documented on the vlog that i felt festive after drinking a couple of glasses of wine in vlogmas one yeah true. <laughs> we're, we're then now, going, i feel so festive wine <laughs> oh my god i'm so excited oh, wine, oh, wine is one of my things to do a lot of walking at this Christmas market because we will. We will. Wow, that's a lot. Oh, churros. They're like Pringles. Once you pop, you can't stop. Yeah, so true. Oh, so. so good. <laughs> <laughs> so we are very excited uh, and I thought I would take you on this little road trip with us. We're going a very weird route. We're going via London. I don't understand why the sat is doing this, but it means we get to go to Cobham Services. And you know what? I don't know if it does. Station. No, it was shot. No, but look, stop it. I know. I mean, not that I need another coffee this morning because well, clearly I I've, definitely do. I've had enough. I think the intro of this vlog shows that I've had enough caffeine. <laughs> so many drinks. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Hello, everybody. <laughs> do you remember when you did that really weird hello in that video? Hello. Hello. Over and over again. <laughs> One of my favourite things about Lauren.
camera and she actually like really laughs at me when she edits but she's like rough cutting shit for me she just like will start laughing and it's not like because she's taking the piss like she actually is just like this is so funny to the point where i think i edit me now i'm better on camera because of that and i edit me and i laugh at me and i know i used to hate me so I, used to hate I really used to hate it. Should it's funny. <laughs> 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 oh, crying. Yeah. Start crying already. Um, Woo. Um, our mascara is going to be down our face by the time we get to bar. I'm sad now. What? Okay. No problem, sir. Yeah, yeah, I'm very good. We're going to get lost. Where We're going to end up in a tiny it? tunnel. Say, <laughs> yeah, we probably are, to be fair. <laughs> Pray for us. Pray for us. So this is what you see when you come in. We've got a little bathroom, and then another little bathroom. It's like a shower room with a bath in. So cute. And then you come through here. We have our giant bed. Lots of cute things. Cute things. More cute things. And then over here we have this little step. And you come out here. <laughs> How cool is this? This is amazing. This is definitely, I think, my favourite room I've stayed in here so far. So cool. So pretty. Love it. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. <laughs> I'm in my dressing gown, ready to go to the spa. Pray for my immune system. <laughs> I'm excited. I'm so excited. An hour long massage. So I'm gonna leave you here. Bye. We are back from my massage. I feel like a new woman. Do you feel like a new woman? I am a new woman. She is a new woman. I have new hands. I had a hand massage, it was amazing. Do you know what? every time I have a massage, I get this urge halfway through the massage to like, quit my job and move out to some like random country or to Ibiza or something and become a yoga teacher and just get massages all the time. I don't even know if that's an actual life choice that you can make, it's probably not. Can you but... not like move to Ibiza and own a bar? No, because halfway through a massage I'm like, I just want a stress-free life, I want clean living, I'm gonna be vegan. <laughs> and, <laughs> and then I get out of the massage and I pick up my phone and I carry on exactly as I have been the past like month before I have that massage uh yeah but apparently I have a lot of tension a lot of tension and I need to do hand exercises and I just need to like get new shoulders basically so I thought you would all like to know that I'm broken I'm a broken human top <laughs> five minutes in I'm already crying <laughs> good morning everybody it is bath market day yes I did just get you singing yes I did <laughs> sneaky <laughs> sneaky so we are off to the bath markets this morning uh, after a slight mishap with car parks they're all full what the hell is that all about? It's a popular destination. It is a very popular destination. We are off to the bath markets. I've, my eyes are already watering, it is so cold, and I've just scratched a giant spot on my forehead and nearly passed out. So it's a good start to the morning. Yeah. 
you excited? I'm so excited because we get to have some more wine. And I'm hoping there's a brownie stall. They're my favorite brownies. See, this is basically how Lauren persuaded me that this magical place <laughs> was the destination for us. Oh, <laughs> it was so sweet excited. treats. Everybody. today is Friday didn't get to vlog much last night we went to Nando's it sucked actually sucked Lauren had an incident with a bottle of ketchup which we are no longer talking about can't talk about it anymore someone had some bad karma and we're not sure who it was but anyway we've just been for breakfast slash no it was lunch <laughs> brunch I mean it's what three o'clock it? it, <laughs> uh, it was lunch I just don't even know anymore. I woke up late. I was tired. Um, I'm still tired. But yeah, I keep going to say brunch. <laughs> <laughs> what was wrong with me? We went for lunch at Marmalade, which I highly recommend if you're ever in Brighton and staying like in Kemp Town, which is kind of like east. Uh, it's lovely. We love it. And now I'm on my way home and I'm about to unbox some stuff with you because I had some deliveries and I'm excited to unbox them. I'm very excited. It's Friday. Yay. It's Friday! I'm so excited, it's Friday. I'm so ready for the weekend. I'm ready to sleep. I'm ready to like sort my eye out because my makeup is like already melting into my eye balls. <laughs> <laughs> that works in like both senses. Like eyeballs. Balls. <laughs> Not yeah. that I ever really use that as like. No, I don't think I've ever said balls balls is like a oh fuck type of situation but yeah i thought i'd come on and wish you all a happy friday like you know my makeup's melting into my face and yeah it's just really it's really annoying me it's both eyes the lady at marmalade said that your eye makeup was really nice actually wasn't she when did she say that when i went to order lunch oh that's she nice and i was like i've got no eye makeup on so <laughs> <laughs> you obviously just mean her <laughs> oh that's really nice oh it makes it slightly more worth it it's not falling into my eyeballs anyway yeah I'll be back in a minute. I'm just being weird now. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. <laughs> but I'd just show you guys my outfit before I basically put slippers on and don't look like this anymore. Not that I look overly nice anyway, because I made minimal effort today because I didn't want to wash my hair. But I've just slicked that back into a bun and I've got my little Gucci slide that goes in just to kind of try and polish the turd that is on top of my head. I've then got my All Saints coat on, which I'm loving at the moment. Is this in the offer that's on sale at the moment? It might be on sale at the moment. If it is on sale, I will pop it in the info box because uh, they're currently doing their second sale of the past like month. So, yeah, um, woo! So if it's still on sale when this video goes live, I'll pop a link. I'm then also wearing a misguided crop top just like a little jersey one so yeah this little crop top and then these trousers from Topshop I've had these for years and years but they always bring them back in some capacity but they're basically like a tailored cigarette trouser and then my Nike Air Max 97s and my Givenchy bag yeah that is me done today it's so simple and so easy and just really works with the fact that I have unwashed hair it's kind of a look and then Normal jewellery, nothing really to note there. And normal makeup. I'm probably going to do a video on this at some point soon. Hello. Okay, so I feel like I quite like the setup for showing you things. So I thought I'd show you a few deliveries that I have had 
uh, over the past couple of days and a few bits that I picked up actually back if you saw the uh, vlog that I did around my tanning routine and that couple of days there are a few bits that I picked up that I found in the dressing room and I was like I still haven't shown these on camera which is why they've been sitting there so firstly we have I can't believe I didn't show these but I actually really don't think they ended up in the vlog I've got these little snowflake um, baubles for the Christmas tree which I'm so excited to put on there they're going to be so cute so I've got a couple of those and then I picked up some things when I was in Space in K first being the diptyque bauble which I am so excited to crack out it needs to there's something really weird hanging off the tree outside my flat what the fuck I'm confused um, anyway, I'm so excited to actually get this out and put this out on display because my, my tree is up now so I'm fully like in the mode of Christmas so um, that can actually come out now. Back when I bought this I was like it's too early for this. I also picked this up which I'm so excited about. Basically, I'm a massive sentimental bitch and um, I love anything that reminds me of things that my family had when I was a kid or that my mum had especially and my mum's always had uh, this like thing that you put tea lights around the bottom and then it's like little angels or cherubs and they like spin round on this whole big thing and it's all powered by like the heat of the flame and it kind of like pushes um the mechanism around and diptyque basically do their own version it's so pretty and it's got loads of like in here there are loads of little like charms and it like dangles off of this wheel which attaches onto this i believe and the heat basically makes it go around it has all these little charms that like dangle off and it basically is the perfect fit for a mini diptyque candle you wouldn't think it because you don't see them so much around the flat but i actually have a lot of those dotted around they make amazing gifts if you're ever looking for like they're not like they're expensive but they're not like too expensive but lots of people know diptyque as a brand and i just find they always make good gifts because people know the brand they like the brand especially if they know it they probably do like it and the tiny ones aren't like stupidly bank breaking, but they're also not as pricey as like the big ones. So I always find people just like, if you want to give someone a little something and like spend some money, but not like too much. And you just want it to be like a nice quality gift that people will use. I always find that is like my go-to. Like I just love giving people diptyque candles. If my friends are watching, they'll be like, yeah, I've been given one of those. Yeah, yeah, it's kind of my go-to, but. I'm so excited because I also have quite a few of them myself and then I've got two that were in this set the rose one and the beige one and I'm just gonna get so much use out of this so I'm super happy this is really nostalgic to me and it makes me so happy so I'll keep that forever and ever I just love it but on to deliveries I have a couple there's a couple of festive ones so I think I'll start with those I have the world's tiniest pair of scissors to uh open this with which is good okay Oh, that was easier than I thought. Great. So this is an order from Zara Home. You may have seen in one of the last vlogs, I unboxed a diffuser, which was salted caramel scented. And it is the most incredible diffuser I've ever had, you guys. Like, I just, I'm obsessed with it. So I picked up another one. There's another salted caramel one here. And then I've also picked up the gingerbread one. I saw these like a few weeks back in zara home and i actually decided not to go all out when purchasing and just get one of them because i was just not sure how good they'd be how strong they'd be but oh my god they are so strong they're actually incredible and because i love the sort of camera one so much i was like actually i'm probably gonna want this like for a little bit longer and i'd like to have a backup in case they don't do this again next year it just smells so so great uh, but i also picked up the gingerbread version as well and i've already smelled it so i know it smells good but just because they're so strong and long lasting i was like actually i'm going to pick up a backup and then pick up another uh fragrance as well just because they do smell so good like i wake up in the night and it's in my living room and i can just smell it when i'm in my bathroom and honestly it's incredible so my hallway diffuser which i also have a backup of which is also from zara home um is about to run out so i think i'm going to put this gingerbread one uh in my hallway and then have my sorted camera one in the living room and the whole flat's just gonna smell amazing and my life will be great basically my one thing that i'm really like proud of like my flat is always clean and tidy and that kind of thing i don't take a lot of pride in that i like everything to be clean but my one thing is like when people come into my home i don't care if they're like oh it's so tidy i don't i don't care i really care about if they're like oh my god your flat smells amazing and that's my one thing that i always just feel so like yeah it does 
yeah yeah it does i also like love it when people are like oh you smell really great that's one of my favorite things like people if people are like oh i like your outfit i'm like oh thanks so people are like you smell amazing i'm like oh my gosh thanks oh my god that's so sweet i don't know there's something about smells obviously I'm, you know you guys know i'm obsessed with smells and fragrances but i'm actually crying thinking about it <laughs> what is wrong with me i put a lot of love into my home fragrances and it's something i take a lot of pride in so i'm just really really fucking excited about this probably too excited but <sighs> so yeah really it's oh, i just can't wait to put that in the hallway and for my whole flat smell like gingerbread it's gonna be great next i have a package from olivia burton oh is it gonna open is it gonna open though so i feel like i need to disclose this with the fact that i am their brand ambassador it's something that I, again, am very proud of. Might as well change this segment to things Susie's really proud of. They have sent me some bits uh, that I picked out and I'm so excited to have a look. Basically, I picked some things out of their gift edit and they all just look really cute. So I'm very, very excited. They also sent some bits for Lauren as well. So thank you very much, Olivia Burton, for doing that because it's really nice of you guys. So, woo! so many things. I just love the packaging. It's so cute. So cute. Okay. Cute. I have... A little watch i don't have one like this yet i really like the kind of gold and silver um detailing now will this fit the big million dollar question because my wrists are so tiny now nah, i'm gonna have to get they always arrive and they just have like a few links too many so i'm gonna have to get that resized so this is what it looks like so pretty i really like the mixed metals i think it's so cool and i love wearing like mixed metals myself i have a tiffany bracelet that my dad gave me that i like wearing but i also have this gold um padlock bracelet that i like wearing that my mom gave me so it's nice to just be able to mix my bracelets up without having to like think about the watch too much and i'd, I'd still wear them if i was wearing my gold watch anyway but it's just nice to have a watch that has both metals in it already i think it's a really nice addition to my wardrobe what should i open next oh my god there's so many things i picked out some jewelry bits i just really like their jewelry it's very very cute oh i love so they're doing these bracelets at the moment which i'm just really obsessed with they're like t-bar bracelets oh my god it's so cool so cool oh and it's got a little like stone on the end that's beautiful oh my gosh i love I love, I'm fully obsessed. Oh my God. They're so cool. It's just really simple, but like statement at the same time. It's really, really pretty. I really like the texture on that. It's really beautiful. And then this is so like dainty as well. It's not super chunky, like a lot of bracelets that are in this style. So pretty. Okay, so there might be another one because I think I put in an order for one in silver as well. So we'll see, we'll basically see what I've got. Oh, this is the ring. So this, oh my God, I love. It's like this uh, crisscross style ring in gold. It's so beautiful. Oh my God, I love, love, I love, I love. That's so pretty. I love it. Oh my God, I'm obsessed. I'm actually obsessed. I just love it. You know, when you look at things online and they look really cute and they arrive and they are really cute and you're just like, yes yes this is what i'm here for so i also have the same in silver which is also just really pretty i'm just gonna pop that in the middle oh i just love it like obviously i wouldn't wear them like that um yeah they fit better on my index fingers my index fingers tend to be the fingers that most rings go on to to be honest because these are like this i think i'm like an i or a j on my ring fingers so <laughs> child sized actual child size yeah most rings tend to fit uh onto my larger fingers okay so we have the bracelet in silver so pretty oh no this one's the neck oh yes so have this necklace just in the same t-bar style in silver oh, i really like that that's so cute I'm obviously wearing a lot of jewellery right now and um, I wouldn't normally wear like this much on my hands if I had this around my neck because it's very short, it's very like visible. It's really pretty. Yeah, so I'd probably wear this as more of like a statement piece to be honest uh, without all of the jewellery on my hands. It's so pretty though. I'm really, really liking this range. Oh, so nice. Love that. Okay, so that is it for jewellery. 
And then finally, I'm gonna wrap this up quickly because it's getting really dark. Oh my gosh, I can't find the scissors and people are texting me. In the pros texting me. Uh, oh wow, okay. I I have officially lost my scissors. Okay, I am gonna have to try and do this without scissors. When people ask me why I normally have like super, super, super long nails, this is why. You could just, if my, if my nails were pointy and long, I could just rip straight into this. Okay, so it's been a long time since one of these navy blue boxes appeared on my channel. I feel like I used to do an unboxing from Louis V or like every month, but I picked up a pair of tights. I'm sure a lot of you can guess which tights these are, if you know me well. But um, I kept seeing them on Instagram and I just needed them in my life. These are the Gucci tights, which I was like, yes, I'm gonna need this for party season. I love bare legs. I really do love bare legs, but there are some times when you just want a pair of tights. They add texture to an outfit and that's what I'm all about because I love a black outfit. So these are a great way of adding texture without deviating from the color palette or not so colorful palette and not having your legs so exposed, but still having something. So yeah, I'm excited. I hope these look good. I ordered these in a medium. I know you're meant to go by leg length and my friend Lorna has these and I was fully influenced by her to buy these because she looks so great in them. I know everyone says go by your leg length uh, with these tights, but I've gone for a small before because I'm five foot one. Lorna also gets a small, she's five foot three. However, they just were too short for my legs, weirdly, and I don't understand why. They were fine on the actual leg, it was literally just the leg length, so this time I just decided to be safe, go with the medium, because I just feel like you can't really go wrong if you just size up a little bit. It's my thoughts. So, um, yeah, very excited. Might try these on, we'll see. Lauren definitely wants me to try these on for her, so I might as well show you guys as well. But, um, yeah, that is it for my <laughs> unboxing, and I am now going to have to tidy all of this up, because... Uh, this is this is stressing me out so i've just kind of thrown this jumper on um with the tights i'm not really this isn't really how i would wear it i'm still waiting for a couple of items to arrive that i probably would pair with these tights but i just wanted to show you kind of how they look and i'm really happy that i got the medium because they fit so much better on the leg length than the small i just i'm so glad that i trusted in the sizing of the other ones because small just doesn't work for me which is just so strange if you're meant to go by leg length and people that are taller than me get the small i just don't think i don't know if that i don't know if that works for me they're cute but yeah really happy with my jewelry this is so cute i can't get over this ring i wish it would focus there you go so cute so 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 cute guys i'm so excited i am so excited because in this box box is my christmas present to myself and i'm very very excited basically i'm really excited because this is probably going to be the last time i'm able to be like merry christmas to me love me uh at christmas time anymore that doesn't really involve like buy myself taps and stuff like that like i'm fully prepared to just dedicate my life to like the home reno when the time is right but this is my last christmas where i was like probably like my last christmas for like many 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 years now i feel like that i'm gonna be able to do this so yeah i can't wait to show you like this is i'm one of those people that in past years like i have kind of been like oh maybe i should just like wear it a little bit before christmas but i am now like fully on the i'm just gonna wrap this up and just literally oh my phone sorry it is in the fro again <laughs> one of those people that is fully just like i'm gonna wrap this up really nicely like i would for everyone else and gift it to myself uh so it will be opened on christmas I'm so excited. <laughs> and i'm also so excited because uh ryan just rang me to say he's on his way and that we're definitely delivering for dinner tonight so it's gonna be good also just wanted to show you what this looks like out in the wild <laughs> oh, i love i've got my little thingy i don't really know what you call this watching the video very dark i'm gonna use the fridge to light me <laughs> there we go <laughs> it's bedtime now guys 
That's a good line. Getting ready to have a midnight snack. Yeah. There's two new brownies in the fridge from that trip to Bath. It's really killing me. But I'm gonna love you all and leave you because I'm very sleepy. And I'll see you. Oh no, I have no light. Uh oh. Now I just look like we're in a horror film. I was gonna say, it's quite creepy. <laughs> okay, we are going to bed. Oh, candle lit. Yeah, no, I still look like I'm in a horror film. Could just see that. This one? Stop it. Yeah, it's time for bed. I'll see you all again in the next vlog. Goodbye.